Hello everyone, Ba'ashka wa Alika ish. This video I'm gonna make uh, about the resources I'm using to learn Yucatec Maya. Um, I had I got a uh, request to do it. Um, also, I want to start uh, showing the resources I use for um, each language now from now on. Um, okay, a uh, little background on Yucatec Maya. It's a language of the Mayan language family in Central America. Um, it's native to uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, northern Guatemala. It's called Petén, um, in northern Belize. Um, it has around a million and a half speakers, which makes it the second most spoken Mayan language after Quiche in Guatemala. Um, uh, most of the speakers that live in the Yucatan Peninsula, you don't find much, I don't think, in the northern Guatemala and Belize anymore. There's around three million potential speakers of the language, but uh, but it's just that uh, you know the people, some people in the ethnic group, they don't speak it. They only speak Spanish, unfortunately. But a good thing there seems there seems to be efforts uh, to um, teach them the language. Um, first thing I'm interested in this language was this uh, movie, Apocalypto. I'm sure, most of you seen it. Not the most historically accurate movie in the world, but I enjoyed it. Uh, for the language, it you know really got me interested in language. I started learning Yucatec Maya around a little more, like more than a year ago, maybe two years ago even. Uh, obviously, as you could imagine, there isn't that much material um, available. Um, I first got this. Uh, I printed out online. It's called uh, A Grammar of the Yucatec Mayan Language by uh, David and Alejandra Boyes. The site is called. Uh, Foundation for Advancement of Mesoamerican Studies, Inc. FAMSI. This is a, this is pretty good, um, concise. The only thing I would say I didn't like about it is it doesn't really show tone, and it, um, the the way they write it is kind of weird. I guess it's kind of uh, confusing, at least for me it was. Um, but the good thing it has a lot of uh, short stories, which helped me a lot to learn it, um, since. Um, I learned I learned best from uh, you know it's dialogue and stories. Um, let's see. Then I uh, I got uh, this book. I got this in the University of New Mexico when I visited there. Um, it's a dictionary and phrase book. It's a Hippocrene series. Uh, this one's by John Montgomery. It's pretty good. Definitely great for beginners. Hippocrene's good for uh, you know. They're known for having a lot of uh, what they call ex exotic languages. Um, this has the alphabet. I believe the, the Yucatec Maya alphabet is standardized now, um, as as is the case with most Mayan languages. And uh, one thing might be confusing, uh, since this is for English speakers, the ha sound it it has a, an H, whereas in uh, most people that speak the language they'll use a J, which is a Spanish jota. Um, but it's the same thing, really. Uh, Yucatec Maya is a tonal language, so it's not that tonal. It has maybe, uh, it has three tones, two or three. It has a uh, middle tone or standard tone, a high tone, and a low tone or a long tone. Um, uh, the, the grammar isn't that hard. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's not as simple as Indonesian, but it's, uh, it's you know compare the Cherokee for example it's a breeze um, some a lot of people might have trouble with the pronunciation which I kind of had advantage knowing uh, Arabic uh, having you know spirit you know a background in Arabic because it has a lot of similar sounds like ka and the uh, glottal stops um, uh, which um, which is a characteristic of most Mayan languages if not all. Which I'll get. To, I'll make a video later about my languages. I'll explain more about that. Um, I also use this. It's just kind of a notebook I use uh, to write notes in. Um, there's also a. Uh, in, there's also some materials available in the uh, from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, on the website, um, the Institute for the Study of the Americas. And I'll, I'll put that um, link on the video. Um, I definitely want to get that uh, when I can. Um, not sure what else to say. Uh, anyway, I, I try to. Uh, oh, also on uh, 
Facebook, there are some uh, groups that help you learn uh, Yucatec Maya. I have some friends on there. It's not as good as face to face with people, but you know, it's it's still pretty good. Just you know, reading and understanding and typing and whatnot. Um, uh, let's see. Unfortunately, I don't know anybody in this area that speaks the language I'd like to. But it's a pretty fun language to learn. Also, I try to watch Apocalypto over and over again, and I find that more times I watch it, the more I understand. Um, well, anyway, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, write me a comment. Alright.